Hi, this is Dr. Pichani. Today I want to talk about the fact that the coronavirus is decreasing in the number of people who are getting it. In other words, the population that died from coronavirus is nowhere near a quarter of a million. As the CDC correctly said, we made a major mistake and it's close to 9,000 people, which is far less than what the flu is going to do this coming fall. The other issue that's important on the coronavirus is the fact that we've picked up, once again, Nancy Pelosi, Alexandria, the mafia babe, who has entitlement and corruption and the sense that no one should bother her, including her own laws, goes into a hair salon in San Francisco and demands to have her hair clean, washed, and colored. Well, of course, Marie Antoinette of the house is the one that's going to be used to all the entitlements that she had beforehand. But it's time to get rid of some of these old women and men in the House of Representatives. That's up to you guys. The next issue is a more important one, and that's the fact that Biden has accused Trump of being kind of a fascist and creating violence and propagating it. Wrong, Biden. For 48 years, you had the chance to take down one of the most ruthless European dictators in the world by the name of Alexander Lukashenko, who was the head of Belarus, White Russia. And that White Russia is located between Poland and Russia. How do I know? Because I happened to have been thrown off the train in Minsk. And Lukashenko personally ordered me to be arrested under the fact that I may or may not be a spy. I got off the train in Minsk, and several men with guns held it on me and the person that I was with. I had a weapon, but they did not discover it, and the person I was with said, don't use it. But more importantly, when I came back and I, I reprimanded the Russians because they had not given me a visa and knew very well that I would be trapped by Lukashenko, I came back to the United States, to the Clinton administration, and I said, I need you to do, take care and do something that will compromise Lukashenko. At that time, Biden was in the government, a senator. At that time, we had Democrats, and absolutely nothing was done. Now Biden claims that he has reprimanded Lukashenko and doesn't tolerate that kind of dictatorship in Europe. The truth of the matter is that Biden is not qualified to be president. As I said before, on a clinical basis, he's seen up. On an intellectual basis, he will do very poorly in a debate against Trump. That's why we all on the Trump side want to see that debate starting at the end of September. More importantly, we understand two elements. Number one, Trump will bring us back to financial success. He admitted he made a mistake by closing the government thanks to the people like Fauci and Bixer and the CDC and Redfield. But that will be corrected very quickly. At the second time, we will have relationships reinstituted into individual countries. We do not need to be in NATO. We do not need to be in international forces, which really don't serve our own interests. What he cares about, once again, is to make America great. Hopefully, he will make a treaty with North Korea. We will have a treaty. Uh, Israel will have a treaty with uh, Bahrain. Uh, Oman, and eventually Saudi Arabia. Thanks to Kushner and O'Brien, they've worked 10 years previously to make sure that there was an attempt made on both the economic and the social side to allow Saudi Arabia to recognize Israel, to allow Bahrain to recognize Israel, and to allow Oman to recognize Israel. That will be the legacy of the Trump administration. I bid you good night and good luck.